is going on with you? I am tonsillated through. I crap. I messed that up. I messed it up. Do over, Mulligan. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tizel83. Thank you so much for stopping by. And why am I? I'm doing this without my microphone. <laughs> I'm doing this without my mic. <laughs> I'm. Take three. I, I just need my microphone. I, if only I could. <sighs> Do 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 Oh, there it is. Oh, there. Oh, oh okay. Just, uh, you know, use the force. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Look at that. All right. You're good. You're bueno. What's, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Tizel83 here. Picture on Network. That was backwards than what I normally do it. But thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you would at the end, like, comment. Share the content that you've just watched, and of course, if you haven't already, tap the subscribe button down below. We're going to talk about, well, you know what, are we uh, two weeks away from the red-white scrimmage from Razor Fest? I uh, can't wait for that. I'm going to be there, uh, and I hope that you are too. Uh, and in fact, if you see me, feel free to stop by, say hello. I, I'm bleeding, so I'm having to grab. I don't know why I'm bleeding. What is that? Oh, Lord, there's blood everywhere. I'm bleeding from my knee. What is going on? Been uh, Been looking a lot. Into this, uh, in, into into the coach speak or the things that coaches say and what they've been saying to the media. You know, we're we're two weeks away from this scrimmage, and and um, I, I think that I'm, st I'm I'm starting to narrow down the list of of names of people that I'm really going to keep an eye on in, at, at the spring game, and two guys that just continue to show up. I don't, and I don't recall exactly who says it the most. I feel like Brett Bielema has mentioned these guys a couple times. Uh, some of the position coaches, players even. But two guys that continue to be brought up are Austin Cantrell and, of course, Randy Ramsey. Ramsey, who's playing the new, you know, he's gone from the defensive end. They moved him to the outside linebacker, kind of outside linebacker slash defensive end position, what they call, I think it's called the razor position, uh, where I guess they blitz the quarterback quite a bit more on that on that side. My guess is that's probably the, you know, the blind side over there uh, in front of the left tackle. Um, so that's... I, I'm, I'm interested to see how how much he's he's grown and in, 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 into that position, and we don't have a year. We can't compare from a year ago, you know, because he was uh, a he didn't start. He played, but he didn't start. And B, it was a different defense, right? So I'm curious just to see how well he performs at the red white scrimmage. I know there's going to be you can't take a lot away from spring games. You really can't. He's going to be at least somebody I keep an eye on. Of course, Austin Cantrell. I'm going to watch as many people as I can obviously I want to keep a pretty good eye on on uh you know the two well the Juco tight end won't be there but uh the number one Juco wide receiver uh, uh Martin Austin Cantrell is going to be a guy I'm going to watch his name continues to be to be brought up Brett Bielema says he's you know a great just pure blocker um uh, you know but I want to see what else he contributes to to this offense and uh you know he played a little bit last year uh, I'm just really curious to see what he does out there in the scrimmage and see what what they allow these guys to do too. So those are just some names, and and of course, like I said, there's other guys I'm keeping an eye on. I, I'm also curious about the front seven on defense. That's uh, that's where a lot of change is happening from this transition from the four three to the three four defense. That's a lot of change. That's a lot of you know you got different bodies on the field, different players. You know you. you I know a year ago depth at linebacker was a concern. Now you're going you're going from a from a defense that only uses or utilizes three linebackers, your Mike and two outside linebackers, to a defense that utilizes one more on the field. What's that depth look like? What are these position changes? There's been quite a few moves because of that change, because of that you know, because of the the, the, the personnel change and that group and that front seven, I wanna see what it looks like at full speed. And again, we can only take so much from the scrimmage. I get it. Again, it's just something to see. What speed do they play at? Do they look fluid? Do they look lost? You know, those are some of the things I'm going to be watching. So again, I'll be there, and I'm excited about that. End of the month. End of the month. It's so close. I'm almost treating it like a holiday. I keep. I've got it circled on my calendar, and I'm like, oh, I cannot wait. It's going to be good. I think I, I can't decide whether or not I want to take my girls, my two my two daughters. I've got a two-year-old and a uh, almost five-year-old. 
I think I want to take the Razor Fest, but I'm not really sure because I'm also going to be there to do some work too. So yeah, I'm excited about that weekend. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and, uh, of course I'm going to make content around all of it. I'm going to watch, uh, the game, watch the scrimmage. I'm going to take some video footage from the Razor Fest. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Um, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff until the next video.